Hey, it's Brickzar. It's time for Brickzar Answer Thingy and my VEDA vlog every day in April update. Today we're going to be answering a question from three Brick friends about the pirate Batman. And also we're going to talk about what's the most adventurous thing I've done. Hey, that ties in together. Pirates Adventure. Stay tuned. All right, so our bat question, Brickzar Answer Thingy, is from three Brick friends about this pirate Batman. And he wants to know if this is just a gimmick that came with this D DK book to kind of promote the book, or is it something based on an actual comic book or TV show? And yes, it is based on a comic book. There are at least a couple of times they've done something related to Pat <laughs> Batman being in a pirate-themed setting. Um, and Brave and the Bold did it, and Grant Morrison did a series where Batman was essentially a pirate. I haven't really looked at the images of those. I haven't collected comics since 1996, so that's 20 years, and I think most of the appearances, or the most recent appearance, is probably what this is based on. So anyway, yes, they do sometimes with Batman. I remember when I was collecting, they would do little one-shot series that were called Elseworlds, where Batman would be in another reality uh, away from the normal reality that we're all used to. So the next... Well, he also asked, have they done any other weird things with superheroes? And yes, they've done that. Um, uh, Marvel's done it. DC Comics done it. They've done alternate realities. You know, Marvel's done the uh, Marvel 2099 or whatever. And they've done what-ifs. DC did Elseworlds and things like that. So they're always, we're doing a kind of alternate reality type things. Now, the most adventurous thing I did, why do, why do I have this rock here? I was trying to think of what is the most adventurous thing I've done. Now, outside of having kids, that's pretty adventurous. Um, I do remember when I was a teenager and 18 years old, I was in school in New Mexico, and that's where I got this rock. I got it from an abandoned mine. I actually got a few other rocks. I got a piece of the mine rail. Um, probably wasn't a very bright thing that we did because the mine was had been closed for about 80 years at the time we went. It's been closed for over 110 now. It closed in 1905, I think. <laughs> but it's... Um, yeah, it was very unstable, and we went several levels down in the mine. We didn't have proper light sources, but I was glad to get this rock. <laughs> so <laughs> that made it well, all worth it. So that's probably the most adventurous thing I've done, and I remember one of the larger guys that was with us got stuck in a hole, and I was behind him, and we were pushing, and the other guys were pulling. There were about four or five of us, and I was like, I don't want to die sitting here behind this guy can't get through the hole but anyway we survived all right so thanks for watching this video actually it's been quite a challenge for me to do these vlogs every day and time in somehow with lego from time to time so we'll see if i can make it all the way through april and looking forward to getting back on a regular routine uh, after the philly brick fest that's coming at the end of the month so stay tuned for that that'll make it easy when we get there to do some of these vlogs too because we'll be talking about that so we'll see you in the next video thanks for watching i'm joseph channels bricks are see ya